All right, guys. So in the last one, we were able to highlight the blog page and also the individual posts. So the nav will be highlighted. Right now, we have an interesting problem and an interesting solution as well. If you observe in our pages, uh, let's say home, about services, contact, we have this hero section, right? Let's say we don't want this in our blog. So maybe for blog, it doesn't make sense. And also for, for you know, individual post, uh, you know, we don't want it. So how do we remove it? Since we have defined it in our root layout, uh, it will always be inherited in, in all the pages. So one way to uh, remove it is from removing here. But if we remove it from here, it will go away from all the places. But yeah, we will have to remove it from here, but maybe include it somewhere else. And uh, before Swellkit uh, 1.0, we had a different kind of, uh, you know, uh, naming of files. It was underscore layout. And at that time, we had something called layout.reset, uh, where we could reset the parent layout. And, and that is not available here. Now, uh, if, I, if I think about it, I want my pages to have this hero. Other things should not have that. So I can group my pages and I can, I can you know, have hero there. Now, before I do grouping, I will move some of these components to library uh, that could be useful because while, you know, while we move, uh, while we create and move few pages, their dependencies, the components that they are dependent on, I might throw error. So I'm just moving it to this place. Now here, the navbar, I think we'll have to import everything from library dollar lib so that will work uh this also so wherever you have this um you know import of components uh, you will have to replace that with dollar lib there is a console we'll just remove it okay seems like you know um things are fine here everything is imported properly now uh, let's see if the site works as usual. I don't see much errors here. I go to home page, it remains the same. Hero is missing. Okay, this is good. Now I'll create a directory and move all the pages there. Now there is an option to create a directory like this with uh, you know brackets, and then uh, we can call anything. Uh, this is called grouping, so you can have any name. It doesn't affect your routes. So it doesn't create any route on its own. Now I'm gonna select about contact services. Uh, what else? The page, page dot server, all these things inside pages. So um, okay, so it, it might be asking for some dependency. Anyway, so I moved everything here. So pages will have all the pages, right? Even the home page. So let's let's see. Okay, home page is fine. About is fine. Services and also if you look at the URL, it it doesn't change at all. So things are good. Log is also fine. Individual will be fine. Okay. All right. So everything worked as expected. Now here in this group, I can have another layout. Okay. So this is where we are gonna add our hero back in. So a layout should have slot so that we'll have and by doing this nothing changes and now before the slot i will have this hero imported and uh, that's it it auto imported and now our pages will have uh, all these you know uh, things and our blog will not have the you know uh, hero okay so that's how we do it we group all the pages you know whatever we want to have uh, you know certain feature we group them together and blog is outside so it doesn't it doesn't inherit that so our root layout is only like nav bar uh, and footer so so it, it it is sorted now um next thing is if you look at this footer it's like uh, it, I mean, it, it would be better if it snaps to the bottom. 
now there are a few ways to do it you can uh, increase the amount of content you have so that will do it but sometimes you know your uh, it might be less in that case you shouldn't be your page shouldn't look like this so let's let's see if we can fix that so we can make the height or something okay so there is a div here i'll, I'll remove this and also in the latest uh, circuit you are not supposed to have circuit body inside the body tag directly so let's uh, change that to a div and i think this shouldn't change much okay maybe i can do that here yeah so i will add a you know div called app and put everything inside here so what happens is whichever page you go so app will be the parent right of all that okay so that's good now i can style that dot app maybe um, i will do it like <clears throat> i will uh, maybe i will make it flex i'll tell you why i'm doing it once you do flex everything will look weird but um, i will change the direction of flex to column so then everything should be back to normal and uh, that is okay and also maybe i should define a height here height or minimum height sorry minimum height as 100 vh okay and that uh, wouldn't make any difference right now but if i go to the footer and make it snap so margin top is 3 am so i'll change it to auto so in flex you know you can do auto then it will uh, you know move away so yeah if you go to any page which is short uh, which has short content the footer will snap to the bottom okay uh, our uh, contact page seems weird so let me just fix that quickly so it's just maybe container should have full width yeah so just width 100 percent would uh, fix it i think yep so we have it back so yes we got the footer fixed and now one last thing which is adding seo to these pages because uh, whichever page you go last and then you go to blog if you look at this title here it doesn't change at all so it's it's not good we also want some kind of you know a meta tags or seo added to this also it's good that we have a component already seo.swell so we'll just use that in inside blog we'll add it here somewhere um, so i'll copy it from somewhere uh, yeah so this is good so i'll go here in the page and i'll paste here um, i'll do something like blog and then a pipe this is a blog and this should be web page so i'll copy that i think import is in... okay now it is good now i'll go to this individual pages so this is quite interesting here we have to use dynamic values so title would be uh something like post dot title right description would be post dot body it won't be post dot body all the time because in in my case i i only have post dot body i'm using it you might have something like description or excerpt or something like that and the web page i don't think it's web page i'll go here it's uh it's called blog posting so i'll just uh, use that type all right so everything is done now if i go here i get the same title if i go to the blog home page i get blog and everything so if i go to a page and that will be used as a title so which is good so we also did the seo in like a minute so awesome so subscribe guys there will be more videos coming and uh, we can cover a lot of stuff thank you bye bye